Successful project managers use certain essential skills and they do so consistently and effectively. Research shows that the top 2% of project managers distinguish themselves by demonstrating superior relationship and communication skills while displaying optimism. By the end of this video, we will have covered overview of PMI's talent triangle. The PMI's talent triangle defines the skills of a project manager in three dimensions in terms of technical skills uh, of a project manager, management skills of a project manager, and leadership skills of a project manager. But before we get into the actual presentation, let me briefly introduce myself. My name is Rakesh Bahadure. I am a PMI certified PMP. I am a PMI certified authorized training partner instructor for PMP. I am a certified Lean Six Sigma Black Belt. I was a certified Safe Agilist and I am a master trainer. Now let's get back to the presentation. As mentioned earlier in the scope of this video, PMI defines the competencies of a project manager in three dimensions, which are mapped with the three skill sets focused in the PMI's talent triangle. These three skill sets are, the first one is the technical project management. It can be defined as the knowledge, skills, and behaviors related to specific domains of project, program, and portfolio management. It is nothing but the technical aspects of performing one's role. The second one is strategic and business management. It can be defined as the knowledge of and expertise in the industry and organization that enhances performance and delivers better business outcomes. The third one is leadership skills. It can be defined as the knowledge, skills and behaviors needed to guide, motivate and direct a team to help an organization achieve its business goals. Now let's talk about technical project management in detail. These are the skills which are required to effectively apply project management knowledge to deliver the desired outcomes for the projects. The top project managers consistently show several key technical project management skills. These include scope management, schedule management, cost management, quality management, stakeholders management, risk management, procurement management, and so on and so forth. These are all the skills which are mentioned in PIMBOK Guide 6th edition. Now let's take an example of scope. The project manager should be well versed with the different processes that need to consider while scoping the project. The processes could be related to collecting the requirements for the project, validating the scope of the project, controlling the scope of the project, or creating work breakdown structure of the project, or as simple as creating the scope baseline. Moreover, she should be in a position to also identify the out of the scope requirements for the project. She should know different tools and techniques which can be used to carry out such processes. Project managers need few essential skills to carry out the technical aspects of project management. And these are focus. Project managers should focus on the critical technical project management elements for each project they manage. This focus could be on the critical success factors for the project, such as balancing the project constraints like scope, schedule, cost, and quality. The second essential skills to support the technical project management skills of a project manager is tailoring or tailor. Project is defined as temporary endeavor to create unique product, service or result. Based on this thought, the project managers tailor the life cycle of the project, processes used in the project and the tools and techniques used in the project. And the other factors effective project managers consider for tailoring the projects are the size and complexity of the project along with the culture of the organization. The third essential skills to support the technical project management aspect of a project is prioritize. The project managers use their expertise to make time to plan thoroughly and prioritize diligently. They proactively monitor the progress of the project and take decisions effectively. The fourth skill is manage. Well, it is the overall responsibility of a project manager to manage all the elements of the project. She manages the technical as well as the human aspect of the project. Now let's talk about the strategic and business management skills. The strategy and business management skills include the ability to see the high level view of the organization, implement decisions and take actions 
that are aligned with the vision and innovation. It also includes the skills required to follow and understand the trends in the industry and in the market. The project manager should be knowledgeable enough to explain the aspects of the organization. These aspects could be the strategy of the organization, the mission of the organization, the goals and the objectives of the organization, products, services, and the operations in the organization, the market and the market conditions, such as customers, state of the market, and time to market factors. These are all the things which a project manager should be able to understand. And at the same time, she should be able to understand the competition in the market, like what kind of competition is, uh, is uh, going on in the market, who are the competitors, what is the position of their organization in the marketplace. Now, let's say an organization XYZ is providing IT services to companies in the healthcare industry. XYZ started with the mission that it wanted to cater to only healthcare industry. Its strategy is to cater to the needs of IT services for the small and medium sized hospitals in India by providing EMR software. EMR software is known as the Electronic Medical Record Software. The company's short term objective is to capture 20% of the market by the end of the year 2025. The project managers of XYZ should be able to know that the projects they are working on are aligned with your organizational strategy. They should know their market, competitors, customers, vendors, state of the market and other factors which will impact their projects. They should also consider other factors that could impact their projects. This could be risk, financial implications, business value, cost benefit analysis, benefits realization, among others. These are all included in the strategic and business management skills. Now let's talk about the leadership skills. Leadership skills involve the ability to guide, motivate and direct the team. These skills may include demonstrating essential capabilities such as negotiation, resilience, communication, problem solving, critical thinking and interpersonal skills. Communication skills, for example, is one of the most important and critical skills a project manager should have. A large part of a project manager's role involves dealing with people. The project manager should study people's behaviors and their motivations. A project manager communicates with the team in many different ways, depending on the style she selects. And this style changes over a period of time based on some key factors. Some of these factors could be the attitudes, moods, needs, values, and ethics of a leader and team member. At the same time, there could be organizational factors and environmental factors. It has been established via multiple studies that a project manager spends 90% of her efforts in the communication aspect of a project. The communication could take different dimensions, such as her presenting project status report to hire management and sponsor, her helping the project team in arriving at a decision or solving a problem, her seeking help from her peers in the organization in the form of resources, and her interacting with project vendors for materials, resources, etc. There is a reason of my showing the leadership skills in circular style. All these skills and others which are not mentioned here are interconnected to one another, and one skill impacts the other skills. To end the video, I would like to mention this particular line which I always like. Top project managers are proactive and intentional when it comes to power. These project managers will work to acquire the power and authority they need within the boundaries of the organization's policies, protocols and procedures rather than wait for it to be granted. Thank you so much for watching this video and all the very best for all your project management certifications.